Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the Spider-Man, Peter Parker, the Tom Hollands in Character Creator 3 in CC3 and send it to Unreal Engine to make him become the NPC or any, any of the main avatar, any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, you just need to go and find, find a picture that's from the front. From the front, for example, the picture like this. So if, if the photo like this, the face turn away to one side, then that is not, not good. So you have to go and find a picture that face the front and all the brightness among the face have enough lights, enough brightness. Alright, next. You can just scroll down, then get the Unreal Engine, and then get the Character Creator 3 pipeline project with the headshot plug in. Okay, so now in your Character Creator 3, you need to have the headshot plug in. Select the auto modes. Before that, you need to get the headshot plug in at here. Go to the video description, you can get it from here. The headshot plug in. Alright, once you already have the, the headshot there, what you need to do is just drag in the picture of Tom Holland, Spider Man, Peter Parker, Tom Holland. Drag in, and then at this moment, generate the character you choose male, then no mass. Click generate. After you click generate, you have to just wait for wait for a few seconds to a few minutes. It depends on your computer speed. Wait for the character creator tree to generate the Peter Parker. Just wait for a while. Now you can see it already finished generated. This is Peter Parker, the Tom Holland. And now I'm going to give him some cloth. I, I will just choose the contents. Go to the cloth, give him any cloth there. I give him a shirt. And now I'm going to give him a pants as well. Pen is at here. Just choose from here. And then you can see that here you have certain collision problem. Just double click it. And click here, go to confirm. Click calculate collision. And here this one. Alright, now the collision is this one. So you can just double click it. Click edit mesh. Scope and push it down at here. Push it down. Just to click to push it down. You can just increase the radius, increase the intensity, just to push this part down. Turn on the light, then press Q again. And here you still have another mesh that is the underwear. You have to push it down as well. Or you can just remove the underwear. Just click the scenes. And you can see there is an underwear there. Where is it? Okay, this one, the boxer, you press delete button. Alright, here you have to click edit mesh to back to there. Click the boxer, press delete button to delete it. Now, just have a look. You still have some of the collision there. 
that is the gray sweater selected go to the edit mesh again to scrub it to push it down this part All right, now done already. And next, you are going to give him a shoes. Here, you have to click Edit Mesh again. Go to the contents. Go to the shoes. Choose the shoes from here to apply on him. So I will just choose the boot. Right now, perfectly apply. This is Peter Parker, Tom Holland. Next, I want to send it to Unreal Engine to make him become the main avatar. So what what I must do is just send it to iClone first. Click here to send the character to iClone Seven. Then wait at iClone Seven. It is loading the avatar. Right now. This avatar already at in, in my iClone 7. The next step, what you need to have is the iClone Unreal Live Link plugin. This is the one. Alright, if you still don't know how to install the iClone Unreal Live Link, you must install it both at the Unreal Engine. In your Unreal Engine, you must have the iClone Unreal Live Link, and then in your iClone 7, you must have the, the iClone Unreal Live Link. Both must install together. If you don't know how, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already published a tutorial there. How to download and set up iClone Unreal Live Link tutorial. This is another video link that guides you step by step in details how to download and set up the iClone Unreal Live Link. So once you're done already, you have the iClone Unreal Live link both installed in your iClone 7 and Unreal Engine. Then you have to go to the scenes, make sure the avatar you name it properly. I will just name name the avatar as Peter Parker 01. Alright, now this is the avatar name. Next, you go back to the iClone Unreal Live link. First step, you untick everything. Next, you click the, the little arrow, the, the little arrow beside the character. You only tick Peter Parker. Next, go to the setting there. And then untick place assets in synth. Then close this. Next, click transfer the file. At this moment, you need to wait in your Unreal Engine. Make sure you don't do any activity in your Unreal Engine. Just wait at here. Do not do anything. Until it finish transfer, it will automatic pop out at this part. So now just wait for a while until it finish. Now it is transferring. You have to wait until this commands stop and disappear. It will appear here. Alright, now it finished transfer, all will automatically appear here, appear at here, and then you can see where is the folder. The folder is under the contents, resolution contents, and according to your name, Peter Parker, here. All will be inside. So what you need to do the next step to make him become the main avatar, you need to back to the content folder there. And then go into the mannequin folder, go into the character folder, mesh. You should be able to see the mannequin skeletons. You must double click it and then click the retarget manager to make sure the retarget manager activated here. And select rig, you must select the humanoid rig for the mannequin. And then you click save, close. Next step, click the character here, click the mannequin, 
enter the animation folder. You should be able to see the third person animation blueprint at here. You right click it, retarget animation blueprint, and duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Click on that. And then here you, you have to choose the skeleton. You must go and choose the Peter Parker's name. Where is it? The Peter Parker skeleton. The Peter Parker 01 skeleton. Click retarget. At this moment, you should be able to see that it all will back to the content folder and all will be here. So next, you go and activate this. By default, you don't have the navigation. You click here. And then you go back to the Revolution Content folder, Peter Parker's folder. Then inside the Peter Parker's folder, you right click and create a new folder. Name it as Motion. All right. Then under the Peter Parker 01 folder is here. Make sure you click and then make sure that the motion folder is always there. Next, it is empty, you click the contents. Make sure you scroll down to make the to make the motion folder at there, Peter Parker motion. At there you can see. Then you click the first one. The third person animation blueprint, you hold the shift. Then click the last one. Drag all of them into the motion. Then choose move here. To move all of this retargeted version into the motion folder. At this moment, you must rename third person animation blueprint. You right click, rename, add an underscore at behind Peter Parker 01. Name it properly. Enter. Next, go to the content folder. You should be able to see a third person blueprint. Enter the, the folder, enter the blueprint. You should be able to see the third person character at here. Right click it and duplicate. Then add an underscore behind. This is to rename it. Name as Peter Parker. You want enter. Then you double click in. Click the mesh, click the viewport, the skeleton mesh here, you choose Peter Parker. Where is Peter Parker? Here, Peter Parker, choose it. And then the animation class, you have to choose the third person animation blueprint, Peter Parker. It is pretty simple. Then you click Compile, click Save, close it. At this moment, in your default map, if you play, you can see that the main avatar is the Mana Queen. First, what you need to do is delete the Mana Queen from, from this map. You press Delete button. This is a third person, third person game. And then you go to the Edit Project Setting. Map and modes, you should be able to see the selected game mode. The main avatar is the default pawn class. You can just change it to become the third person character, Peter Parker. It, it will automatic save. You no need to go and find a save button. It automatic save already, you close it. Once you play, test play, you can see your main avatar is Peter Parker now. Peter Parker already become your main avatar. And then you also can make Peter Parker to become your, your NPC. You can see where is it? Where is your Peter Parker? It's here under Contents, Third Person Blueprint. Under the Blueprint folder, your third person character, Peter Parker. You drag it anywhere. And then you press press E. You can rotate it. Now he already he become an NPC. This is NPC in your game. Once you click Play, you can see now, Peter Parker, Tom Holland is the main avatar. At the same time, you can see Tom Holland appear at another corner there as an NPC. 
And by using the Unreal Engine, you can just set any of the blueprint programming to make it work as an NPC to make him talk something. Alright, once you scroll down, go to my video description, you can see another tutorial. Character Creator 3 and iClone Facial, VSAM, Lip Sync, the, the Mouth Talking Animations, the Morph and the Motion, iMotion Plus, the Facial Expression Animations, how to use the iClone to create the Peter Parker's facial animations and mouth talking lip sync VSAM animations and send it to Unreal Engine as the animation in your Unreal Engine. How to make that? How to make that? You can just go to that video description, click into that tutorial link to learn how to create advanced facial expression and talking animation for any of your character creator tree avatar that you send it to. Unreal Engines. Alright, that's all for today about how to make the Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Tom Holland to become any of the main avatar or NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.